Hi guys, and I'm back with a um, well a video on how to clean track. This may not be the correct way, but it's the way I use and it seems to do the job. Um, first off, I'd like to apologise if my voice goes up and down. I've still got a blocked here and I'm struggling. And secondly, um, one of the ingredients I am using, um, uh, any younger viewers out there might have to get an adult to buy it for them. Um, so, anyway, um, this is what I used before I did this method. Um, was obviously the uh, um, uh, Hornby cleaning um, coach. Uh, so it needs new pads on this one. Um, I've seen a lot of people modify and put uh, wet dry paper underneath. Uh, but I've been told that's bad for the rails. Um, so, but this is okay to do bits I can't reach. Um, and uh, obviously, yeah, everyone must have used one of these at some point. Uh, rubber. Um, then you put it in a hot, uh, hot soapy water to clean it. Uh, this one's pretty old, as you can tell. Uh, there, there are two I've used before. Um, and, 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 and they work perfectly fine. Um, but this way it sort of lasts longer. Um, this way is also ideal for um, small layouts like uh, the, the Hornby trap mats or the Batman trap mats. And if Batman do trap mats, um, but anything like all end-to-end -end layouts as well. Uh, anything big and you know massive, then I think Dapol do a cleaning wagon. I'm not sure if it's Dapol or um, Airfix. I'm not sure that they, they do one, and then it, it looks um, looks quite nice. Um, but yeah, so uh, this is what I use to clean a track. I'll show you. Uh, these are the ingredients or the equipment. Um, some uh, professional uh, sponges just for makeup. Basically, you get from any body care shop for like one pound fifty. Um, they're they're great. Uh, Obviously, um, some uh, lighter fluid, uh, which is the ingredient that young kids might need adults to go and buy when they get back from Poundland. Um, uh, and then, depending on, like, if you're just doing a bit like this for a tester, uh, or if you've got, like, a layout one, you might need a glass of some sort to put the liquid in and Cut more buds to clean the track um, instead of the instead of, instead of these here. Um, I will apologise first off that I can't find any really really dirty track. It's all been cleaned and um, it's not really dirty. I'll just uh, do a bit. Oh. And if you can see that, not really dirty. Um, uh, but when I have done it in the past, I did my board and um, it was pretty dirty. Did that in December and uh, yeah, that was basically it. Um, so I'll show you what to do. I'll give a little demonstration here. And uh, like I said, it might not be right. It might not, you know, might not be to everyone's taste. I'm sure someone out there can streamline it, make it better. Um, and there's one guy out there which is sort of his idea. Uh, but this is a different way but this is my way and this is what I prefer um, so you could just get the sponge and just do that as you can see it's pretty clean um, but I'll show you anyway so what you do is you undo the lid and then you pour some on the lid like so, on the uh, um, and then you just simply um, do it single or double um, yeah there's um, a little bit on there um, and then, like you say, let it dry for about a couple of minutes. 
does smell a bit, so you might need a window open. Um, let, it, let it dry for like a couple of minutes or go and do your brew or you know, whatever. Um, and then give it, you know, come back and it should be dry and um, your trains will run perfectly fine on that. Yeah, you can even do the whole old power clips, uh, which, you know, the old slotting ones. Um, I do them as well. Um, and you can even do your pickups and, and your locos with it as well. Um, basically, I'll show you the, the way you would do it with a shot glass. So basically, not going to do it, but basically you pour some in like that. Obviously, it lifts it down and then you'd uh, get your cotton wool bud, you'd dip it in there like so. And then uh, basically you just do it down there. Um, etc. etc. Um, that's another way of doing it. Um, that's like if you've got gravel and it's like scenery and stuff, but basically for this it's ideal. Um, <clears throat> and it's dry and uh, we'll get a clean one. Uh, as you can see, pretty clean. We'll do the other side as well. Yeah. Clean, clean. Um, so that's that's the way I do it. It says clean to up uh, three months to six months, depending on use. I suspect you could do your metal wheels. Um, I hope this video has been useful to someone out there. Uh, obviously, the video I saw uh, of the certain YouTuber who did it was useful to me. Um, I asked him questions and I've modified it for my liking. Um, so I am thank you to that YouTuber and um, he knows who he is um, also if you like this one please check out my one for cleaning the wheels with the uh, wheel cleaner um, which I did about four months ago I shall put it in the description if you've not seen it it's pretty basic but yeah thank you very much for your time and um, if you have any comments or any questions don't be scared to ask um, I'm just like you you like you might have a different way of doing it and it could be better than mine and I'd be interested to see um, but if not you know hope you all had a great Easter and I will hopefully do a video soon depending on my health anyway guys good bless and take care bye